Let's talk about some keyboard shortcuts you may want to use. Many users do not like moving their hand regularly from their keyboard over to their mouse to do things. They like keeping both hands on the keyboard. So that's why we chose to include this training video on some keyboard shortcuts. We're going to move our mouse down here in the corner and not use it at all. During this training video, we're going to show you some great keyboard shortcuts. By holding down our Alt key on our keyboard, we can pull down any one of the pull down menus up above. Note, once I press down my Alt key, we get an underscore under each one of the titles of the pull down menus up above. I'm going to hold down my Alt key and I'm going to go to Reports. So I'm going to type an R while I'm holding down my Alt key. Now I'm going to let off on my Alt key and I'm going to go down to Payroll and hit Enter. This brings me into the Select a Report window. Now I can arrow up and down on the left hand side the report area and choose which report area I want to be in. If I want to be in inventory, now I hit my tab key and I'm in the report list. Now I can scroll down like this using my arrow key to the report I want to look at. Once I find the report I want, I simply hit my enter key and that brings me into that report. Here I can go ahead and hit my enter key again and it will bring the report up on the screen. To close the report I'm just going to hit my escape key. I'm going to hit my escape key again to close the select a report window. Now let's go in and process a transaction. I'm going to hold down my alt key and type the letter K to bring down the tasks pull down menu. Here I'm going to arrow down to sales invoices or I could just type an S at this point. So let's arrow back up and just type an S. That brings up the sales invoicing window. Now to bring in my customer ID I can do a shift question mark. This, that's an important keyboard shortcut to remember. Anytime your cursor is in a field that has a magnifying glass to the right of it you can pull up the drop down list simply by holding down your shift key and typing a question mark like that. That'll bring up the drop down list and then I can arrow up and down within the list. If I want to bring in Kent Publishing I can do that here. Now I can tab all the way through and fill in the invoice. Now I'm going to hit my escape key to exit this window. Tab, I'm not going to save this transaction. So you can see we can do everything within Peachtree we need to without ever even using the mouse. So if you prefer to keep your hands on the keyboard, which we know many users do, this enables you to be very efficient with your Peachtree software.